Hello and welcome. So today I want to go over shipping with you guys. I'm going to start the video off with doing um, kind of like a mock order to show you guys how I package everything and get it ready for the customer. And then later on in the video, I'm going to let you guys know how I save money on shipping. So stay put. So the first thing I do before I package any candle is I double check to see what it looks like because this one's smooth, but if a candle sits on the shelf for a few months, especially in the heat, like the summer months, which has been the majority of the time I've been in business, then you definitely want to double check because candles sweat, um, natural candles sweat, um, which is totally natural. It's just like the oil separating from the wax a little bit. So I always double check for that because if there is a little bit of sweating, I definitely always want to hit it with a heat gun, which is this bad boy right here. I got this one, I want to say for like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link below. I'll have to go through my order history, which is pretty long. But um, yeah, there are ones that are a lot more expensive, like 80 bucks that go a lot hotter. But since you're melting something that's easily going to melt anyway, it's definitely not worth buying an $80 one. Unless you're going to use it for something else. I don't know. I don't know your life. Okay, so I'm not going to use the heat gun in this video today. I will make one at a later time to show you guys the effects of using a heat gun um, to top off your candles, just in case there's any lumps or imperfections, especially with soy wax. When I was testing with soy wax, my candles were always lumpy and they were cooling off very, um, I don't know, not how I wanted them to. So yeah, um, we're going to save that for another video and we're going to go ahead and move forward with packaging the rest of this order. And now we're here. So when I'm getting ready to ship out a candle, I use either one of three boxes, which is this guy. This is the smallest one. He fits about one candle. Sometimes I use this one if it's up to two to three, depending on the size. That's a different style box too. I like that one. And then there's this big guy. He fits up to four to five candles. I don't typically send out yet. I don't send out that many at once. Um, just up to four to five, I think has been the most. For this video, we're gonna go ahead and use this guy. He's gonna fit a single candle. So part of my shipping process is pleating my candle wrapping um, and wrapping it up in that shipping paper. I actually made a video already on how to do that. So if you're interested in learning, go ahead and check it out. I'm just not gonna do it in this video just to save some time. So we're gonna put this guy aside and pretend we're shipping him out. So <clears throat> this is the box I'm gonna use. I'm not sure if I said that already, um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is fill it up with some peanuts down below just because you wanna protect it up top. Um, and then depending on your care card, you might want to slip it in now um, so it doesn't get messed up if you're trying to like shove it in there when there's a bunch of peanuts. I try and keep my care cards super small. I'm actually going to be changing them in the upcoming week so they probably will be bigger. Um, but these are mine right now, just a small little card filled with a bunch of information on how safety tips and um, how to make the candle last longer as well as my contact information and my Instagram account. I stamp it handmade by and I sign off my name there. I use these um, cute little clips here to kind of uh, stick it into a, one of these little pleats. And I'll just go ahead and shove that in there. And I will toss the candle in. Okay, and you want to shove it down so it's nice and tight on the bottom. And then you want to begin filling the sides with more peanuts. And you want them on all sides of the candle. You don't want them all just on one side shoving it to the other because you want it to be protected on all sides because I've seen pictures of packages during the shipping process and those things get thrown around, piled up. It's a mess. So you definitely want to protect your candle in all angles. So again, all four sides. When I first started making um, or selling my candles, I was giving out... I guess it was kind of like a promotional thing. I was giving out a little vial of matches. That was actually only supposed to happen during my first uh, month of business, but they lasted a while. So I ended up do, um, including them for about three months after that, but I actually just ran out. So I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but if you were doing something like that, you definitely want to go ahead and shove that in there before. And then another thing is sample. So I do samples, but I didn't over the summer because my wax is um, coconut wax, so it's a bit softer. So you can see, like, this is the kind of thing that would happen to it through the mail if I included a little sample with my coconut wax. I can include soy wax samples, but my, my candles aren't really soy wax, so, I mean, I can't really give that as a sample of my candle. But this is what it looks like when, it first pack, um, when it's first made. I would go ahead and shove one in. I didn't have any problems with it before and I never got any complaints. I just chose to stop during the summer just in case this happened. 
because this is what happened to it as it sat on my shelf in the heat. Um, but yeah, so if you want to go ahead and plop a sample in there too, you can always do that. Um, let me see. Get some peanuts here. And it looks really untidy, but once you kind of squeeze those in there, you um, actually do it the other way because I want to keep that tape lined up. These I, I put tape all the way up here, so yeah. Um, and then you definitely want to shake it. You see, you hear nothing. You definitely don't want any room in there. You want it as tight as possible, and that feels good. So at this point, I would go ahead and take my tape gun, which is this guy, and close this all up, and um, go ahead and put the shipping label on there and tape it up. And yeah, so that's basically it. I like to you know, add a little stamp or something like that. I think that's pretty cool. I think eventually I want to get some stickers um, just to put on my shipping boxes. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Super simple. Um, yeah, as of now, I print out my labels on my printer and use tape to stick them to the boxes. I do plan to eventually get a, um, a shipping label printer. So it kind of basically prints just on a sticker. So I just take it off the paper and stick it on there. I waste a lot of tape, unfortunately. Um sticking it on there with tape but yeah in time I will get one of those um but yeah so that's pretty much this part um super simple I mean you would pretty much follow the same thing with the other boxes um but you definitely if you're throwing more than one candle on there want to get a bunch of peanuts in between the candles because if they're clinking in there um something's gonna break so yeah that's it so that is all for prepping the packages for shipping. Now we're gonna go over how I print my shipping labels and how I save money on sending out my packages. So I use Pirate Ship, which is a third party service that basically takes the best shipping rates out there and provides you with them. The savings on average, I wanna say are five to eight percent, I wanna say on each shipping label, which definitely builds up over time if you're sending out a bunch of orders. So it's definitely worth looking into. I prefer two day priority shipping um, just because you are priced shipping based on the size of the box versus the weight of it. So, uh, you know, sending out candles, they can get pretty heavy, especially if you're sending out four to five. So I love the option of being able to kind of fit as many as I can and not being weighed, or sorry, um, charged by the weight of the box. So this box and this box um, are both 765 up to 765 to ship out. Um, I want to say anywhere in the U.S. That's the only place I ship right now. And um, there are tiers. So there are different tiers. So a certain this qualifies as a small box um, according to them. So there's always medium flat rate shipping too, which is this guy. I don't ship any bigger than this, so um, I'm not sure how much it is. But I know this guy's 1365 to send out so these two are 765 this is 1365 or maybe it's 1325 i can't remember but yeah um but it's flat rate so no matter how heavy this box gets if i choose to throw in wax melts or whatever it may be with the candles as long as i can fit it all in here it'll be 13 bucks about around 13 bucks to send out so that is pretty much it for the shipping um if you have any questions go ahead and let me know and i will get back to you i'm going to provide the link for pirate ship below so go ahead and check it out again it's free to sign up and you will save money um oh yeah and i'm going to include my instagram and my etsy shop below i have I haven't been doing that, but I'll definitely include the links for those below. So check those out as well. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys and thank you for watching.